you have an accident or something like that, you just show them the video. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so, how much did you pay for this uh, camera? Um, it was two, so I think it was like sixty-nine, maybe eighty bucks. One or two. That's it? Yeah. About eighty bucks? Mm -hmm. Man, that's cheap. Yeah. A lot it was of customers. It was a deal. Yeah, a lot of customers pay about two or three hundred dollars for yeah. that. <laughs> wow, you got a great deal then. Yeah, it was. I can't remember what. Okay, in order to install the camera, you're gonna have to take the uh, a license plate out and drill a hole about uh, half of an inch, and then you'll be able to run this wire right there. And also, where the camera is at, right here, there's a wire that you're going to have to run it to the reverse light for this one. So, reverse light should be around there. I'm going to, what I'm going to do, oh, actually, no, yeah, this is where the camera is at. So, uh, I'm going to hook this through and grab it on the other side. I also make the hole right here. You can see that hole right there. I made not a hole, but it was too high so I made it right here to grab the wire in order to grab the wire you're gonna have to use some stick or something and pull it so I push the metal hook or anything that you have whatever flat hand might work or you probably need like about a 10 inch one and then you want to do you don't want to tie it right here it's gonna, gonna get stuck you want to tie it about uh, a foot uh, or more than a foot about tie it like this Okay, I'm gonna use one hand to demonstrate that. So you tie like that, and then you're gonna now you wanna grab this piece, gonna be tight, a little bit tight, and you just pull it slowly. You don't wanna you don't wanna put too much either. And then I'll put this thing right there a little bit so I can grab it later. Now as I pull all the wire out here. I got this red wire out here and then the holes that I made over here it's a little bit bigger it's about an inches or three quarter of an inch so I can pull the wire easy and then what I'm gonna use right here I'm gonna put a duct seal up here so I'm gonna leave it about this much right there maybe about four inch down and then put this duct seal you can get this duct seal uh, at the uh, Lowe's any hardware store at where the electrical place is at and just use it like that so the water won't get through but I mean really it's not gonna hurt anything because the water gonna go down here anyway on this car this is a Volkswagen CC now use the sticker that came with it and pluck put it in there put, peel the tape off just like that because the camera is gonna angle like this you want the letter on the top because if you put it back the other way it'll be upside down so I ran like this. It's good to tape this. I'm gonna tape this later and run the red wire over here and then run the black wire all the way out there. So what I did, I uh, ran the wire through here, hide it, put it down, and then put it, push it in like that. It won't hurt anything right here. Just kind of make sure the wire is tucked in. Like so. And then we're gonna just uh, take a flat head and lift this a little bit right here and then hide the wire in there like like that all the way to the front but this wire is thin it's not thick so you don't have to take pull this out so I uh, just take a <coughs> door remover tool or it don't have to be that it can be a flat head or just lift it like this if you can and use one of your finger and put it in I just put two finger but I only have uh, cameras holding a camera and put it like that and then just run it through and run it up top here oh I don't know what's going on here but we gotta figure this out right here so at this point I'm gonna keep this right there I'm not gonna run the uh, cigarette lighter plug over there because he's gonna need that I'm gonna use uh, alternative ways to do from the fuse right here and then I'm just gonna hold this together and then run the wire up here. I took this panel out and then it's gonna be hidden right there and then go through there and out there. As you can see, I plug it like that and run it enough, leave it enough 
right there where they can adjust and then start from here and then go back down there it's easy a lot more easy this point uh i did a test uh, to make sure i got the right wire but you guys don't have to do that because i did it i tested for the reverse what i've done i uh, test uh, put it on reverse and put on park and then this blue plug right there it's got a gray and white that gray and white will connect to the red wire that we had here for the camera which mean if it send a signal a 12 volt signal to this red wire your camera will switch to the reverse so you can see the picture of the back of your car and that's where you hook that red wire to uh, yes I forgot to mention how to remove this part you basically have to twist it on the side right there a little bit but before you do that you want to remove this uh, this uh, a plastic you want to remove that out uh, as you can see one right there and then another one right here what you want to do you take a flathead lift this thing up and then you pull it out this is very fragile so it will break usually but in my case one of them broke and this one's okay they they'll be fine it's uh, just a uh... next thing you will need is you can get this from install bay or you can get it from Amazon or eBay it's called CIGF basically secret light of female plug so this is what you need to be able to plug into this now before you do anything uh, because if you got the positive and the negative the ground and the power is uh, wrong you're gonna pop the fuse or some some other problem you might get involved so you want to make sure you see this right there you see the letter the printed right there that is a ground that's not power that's ground so you want to hook this to a metal i mean we're going to put it right here we're going to screw it to the metal right there and then we're going to use this side as a fuse the one without the letter the printed letters now i made this ground right here but there is a y right there you have to watch out make sure you push this a thick black wire right there behind there but you want to go close right here you be, should be good but make sure you be careful with this wire you don't want to run through the wire and short something else so check that before you do anything now I'm gonna test test for uh, accessory which one which mean when you put the key on the the, uh, the power will come on this what uh, powered on uh, unless some customer they might want like stay on all the time I would not recommend that so what I'm going to do, I'm going to test right there. When I turn the light on, when the, I turn the key on, the light should come on. So let's see if the key is on or not. Uh, shoot, I'm going to do this. Okay, push the key on, the light's on. Push it off, it's off. So you still cannot figure, you got, now you got to figure out where you're going to, uh, you got to unplug that. You got to test where the power be staying on. You want an opposite side of that when the key is on and the lights on. I'll show you. So now I'm going to, I removed the, the uh, fuse already. I'm going to test the light, turn the light on. Okay, it's not on. This is probably where you want to plug it at right there on the bottom right there. See how this is on? You want an opposite of, of the light and on right there. So. So you want on the bottom, just uh, watch the video and plug. You don't have to do all the testing. I'm just kind of explaining how it is. Oh, here's uh, when you uh, turn the key on, it come on. When you take it out, take the key out, it stop working, put it back on. It should come back on. And wait for it to come on. It's a toe guard, two guard. So now uh, SD card need to format. So you got to format that piece and then uh, yes, it's recording from there. And yeah, that's it. I'm um, start the car up. Oop. Start the car, but you got to format that uh, CD first. And do some setting right there I'm not sure I'm gonna play with it a little bit Oof, there's so much different things loop record record audio sensor parking guard all that stuff I'm not sure they or what all does but a uh, uh, mirror image uh, format confirm format 
and then uh, back and then yeah it's recording so here you go and the front definitely working too and yeah that's recording all the time when you drive We see something, the camera. I must take a video of a camera. Oh, yep, it's that's taken that uh, back to setting. Video, if we can see image, I don't know what that is. Uh, loop recording, stream media. Uh, oh, that's probably, um, I don't know what that is. They all kinds of different thing you can do with this one uh, license hmm. well, you got to put your license plate on there screen saver with your counter yeah the setting part I'm not sure I leave it to the customer but it, it does it look pretty nice uh, now I need to get to the front camera maybe click on here that's a battery that's a mic. <laughs> oh, that's a video. I, I, yeah, that's a front camera right there. That I, that's the recording that I took earlier. Yep. Alrighty. Okay. Like that. And then if you have an accident or something like that, you just show them the video. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, how much did you pay for this uh, camera? Um, it was two, so I think it was like sixty-nine, maybe eighty bucks. One or two. That's it? Yeah. About eighty bucks? Mm -hmm. Man, that's cheap. Yeah. A lot it was of customers. Deal. It was a deal. Yeah, a lot of customer pay about two or three hundred dollars for yeah. that. <laughs> wow, you got a great deal then. Yeah, it was. I can't remember what site, but I have it for like almost a year. I just had. To oh, you had this that long? Yeah. Oh man, but anyway, it's good. A lot of people sell uh pay about two hundred dollars. Yeah. So you got a deal on it. Yes, yeah, this did. is about 80 bucks, 60 to 80.